Corpse ready? Corpse? What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll be smart. Trust me. This place? <clears throat> Be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. What the heck? Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's gonna be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of them. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the embarrassed the woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Mars. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you wouldn't want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Do I do ugly, bro? Hey, whatever.
Come on, then. John's pissed. <laughs> you know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Hmm. Right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Can't be far. Let's keep going. Sorry, sir. I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. Hmm. You should get yourself home. Hang on. There might be something. Uh, they just blew up a freaking grave. You found my pappy's watching. Damn it. How many you see? Three, four, four. Bruh. Four, 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 four. Four, four, four. You should have been. Oh. 
Come on. I'll go for this one. Get off me. Get down. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must have just been killed. They're still here. Stay close. We out, skirt. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. 
Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Can't see crap, dude. Boy. I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I'm... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Oh, for joining this band of maniacs. 
If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Hit that cool. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tillich. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. <laughs> I'm rocking with the old lady. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes and quick. Okay. No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Oh, Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Anyway, talking to folks disappeared. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I thank God. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Come, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said. Whoa. Word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. What the hell? Sit right back down, buddy. Oh. It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. What the heck? I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are! Come on! Tilly, grab that gun! Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! Let's go! We're bringing him back. Right. Oh, oh, man. I choked! I choked! Uh, I can't dodge trees! Bro, let me get my gun out. Is this the boss? Hey.
Boy, he didn't die. Hey, man, I'm not my bad, man. I had to. I had to stop him. I didn't know if you could kill him or not. I'm trying to stop him. Dude, that horse dragging him. We will, we will. Watch this. I'm a pro at this. Oh no. Wait, that's a. I just, yeah, I'm, I just want to drag you, boy. Playing with them. Alright, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. Mm. Look at the floor for a bit. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Coward. Shut up! Hell. She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. I'll put you to that table in there, boy. I can't go in the house. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. Dang. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. I might slit his go throat, on. man. Hold on. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. I kind of want to slit the man's throat. I kind of want to slit this man's throat, man. I feel like if I don't slit this man's throat, we can take care of his other cousins. You mean... Finish the bastard off. Hey! No, my... Sadly... I agree with you. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. <clears throat> Dirt. Clean off my knife. I have blood over my shirt. What you got on you?
Hmm. Oh, yeah, chest right Ooh, baby. We gonna party, boy. Where do you even upgrade the camp from here? I don't think you can. What's up, bro? Jose. Jose. Jose, yeah. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalin is finally showing his true colors. Social climate. Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fake ass laughing. Ha 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 ha. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine tickets. No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Boys, you've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife, 
I'm a young mistress. That's the natural order of things. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Have a douche day. You. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Hmm. You pushing me, bro? Why don't you just leave me alone? How you doing? Things are mighty fine indeed. We want to end this century yet more besmirched. Blood and guilt because of more sins? Do we wish to better ourselves? I hope the latter. 
It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I am not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. You can reach your... Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Oh, Lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My Lord, that fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Um, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps dinging. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him! It will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? Oh my God. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight.
Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Get out of here. here of course and I think I found out how we can grab some of it a big bank real one I mean but not yet a city bank maybe and a stuffed one if we're gonna leave that could be the one thing we need there's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about and I heard about a high stakes poker game I don't play poker I don't even know how to play poker man Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Oh. Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. times uh, I guess so what's next dancing lessons deportment more along the lines of armed robbery Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank he and Abigail are gonna run some distractions see how the law react good oh and I spoke to Evelyn Miller fine man here helping the Indian chief we saw yeah I met him too with the mayor he's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf maybe we could help maybe now I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat a lot of money and Trelawney he's investigating for us he says to meet him at the tailors okay one big score down here Arthur and we disappear we are almost heading home where is home I don't know exactly but I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Boy, 